FL Studio 21's multi-band delay is a whole new approach to a delay device that I've never seen before. You can choose 16 different delay times, volumes and panorama positions for 16 different frequency ranges. That's really incredible. My name is Thomas Foster and in this video I show you everything you need to know about the FL Studio 21 multiband delay. Good to have you here, have fun! So this is the demo song that is coming with FL Studio 21 and I open the mixer here and here I'm solo on the vocal track and I bypassed all the delay and reverb effects and now we load in slot 2, uh, here we go to select uh, the new multiband delay and for this we go to the folder new and here he is, the multiband delay. Let's close the mixer and now let's make the multiband delay a little bigger, something like this. All right, the first thing that we can do is we can listen to it. Oh, sounds pretty cool, right? And we have this knob here where we can go to dry, so this means without effect. Just a dry vocal and this is full effect, 100% effect or wet. And yeah, now we can mix between the dry and the effect signal. Like in every plugin of FL Studio, every effect of FL Studio, we have some presets. Let's listen here to the arpeggiated textures. Or we go to Spectral Morph. On something real. On something more. Yeah. But to explain you everything, I go to Default. Okay. And let me change some things that I will explain later. Um, here we have some bands. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 bands. Bands. So here are the low frequencies like 30 hertz, 47 hertz, 71, 112. Uh, here we are in the mid. This is what you would uh, hear on an old telephone 1.5k kilohertz or 1500 hertz. And we're going up to the high frequencies until 20 kilohertz or oh, 19 in this case here. And now we can um, create three things here. We can do three things here. We can control the delay time. We can control the volume. And we can control the panning. So uh, let us check this out. Let's listen. Uh, maybe we go up with the delay time. Yeah. And now let's change the volume to see how the different bands sounds. Maybe we start with, um, I'm sorry, maybe we start with this band here. That's 1.5k. Let's listen to some higher bands. Or a lower band. Want something real? Want something more? Cause I feel like singing. Yeah, I feel. All right. And we can control the delay time. Maybe we just put up the volume on one band, 1.5. And now we go to delay and here we can control the delay time. In addition, you can control the delay time with this knob here for all bands. So if the scale mode is 100% means on the right, very right side, the delay time is 1000 milliseconds. That's basically one second. Let's listen to this. So if I go down to the middle, something like this, then it would be something like a half second, like 500 milliseconds. And I can make it smaller and smaller. 
want something. Yeah. In addition, we have feedback volume, like on every delay, you can give the output to, uh, of the delay to the input. Uh, and with so you can control how many repeatings you have. So this is one re repeating because we have no feedback. But if I give a lot of feedback, or more, Right. Let's go down to zero, then it's easier to understand what we are doing. And now we go to the panning. Uh, here we can say I want to hear this band here on the left side. I'm not sure. Uh, on my phones it's on the right side. Or on the other side. Okay, let's go back to the middle. And now we give up the volume of uh, each bands and uh, play a little bit around with the delay time. So now all delays have a delay time of one second. But we could say on the bass I want to hear a short delay time and for the high frequencies I want to go up to a longer delay time. You see, like it's, like it's, it's going up from the low frequencies to the high frequencies. Or the opposite. If you want to change these bands here, there are three modes. Um, we have the pencil mode, the curve mode, and the line mode. So the first is the pencil mode. That's the best if you want to change one band like this. The line mode, you can say, I want to make a line from 107.2 to uh, 12K. And you can do it like this or like that. And with the curve mode, you can make curves like this. On something so now let's come back to the scale button. With the scale button, we can uh, scale the whole delay lay times. Means all bands with one knob. So you hear this little crackling things that we ha have if we change the, the scale, uh, the delay time of everything. If you don't like them, you can use the smoothing time and then it sounds better. But now we have the same that you have on every delay if you change the delay time, it's like you change the delay time uh, or the speed of a tape machine, then it's getting higher or lower. If you don't like it, uh, there is a button called keep pitch. Then it's without this pitching effect. So what else do we have? Um, I explained you here the three modes, the dot, the line and the curve mode. I explained you that you can change here between delay volume and pan to say what you are controlling here. We talked about the scale. Here you have a button to multiply the scale with 0 0.1 means now everything is 10%. So if the button is now here on 100%, it's just 100 milliseconds. Here with this button, you can uh, make a timing that is in time with your beat. And um, let's talk about the bank. That is very interesting. Um, with the bank, you can create like eight presets. Maybe we go to the volume and we say in the first bang we just want to hear the low frequencies. So like this. On the second band we want to hear more of the middle frequencies. Something like this. So okay. On the third 
even more, but still not so much highs. And on the fourth, we hear everything. On the five, we start to eliminate the low frequencies. On the seven, even more. And on the eight, even the mids. We just have the high frequencies. And now we can change between these eight modes uh, by clicking here on this button. And you also can do it here with the morph button. So the last thing to explain is here the filter type. Here you can change between gentle, steep and linear face how the filters works. But I would say at the end, why don't we try to make one example how you could create one nice effect for your vocal. So let's go to default again. We go to bank one. Uh, we start with the volume, the scale we give up to uh, 100%. I take the curve um, mouse to, uh, here and I want to hear uh, not so much bass frequencies, not so much high frequencies, but a lot here in the middle. So now I change to the pencil and say this could be even more. Okay, like this, it would be cool. All right, and no low frequencies. We start here very slowly like this. Okay, that looks good for me. The panning. Uh, in the middle, uh, in the low frequencies, I want to be in the middle as we are not able to hear so good low frequencies. And then we go here left and right, maybe here full to left and right. And here something like this. Okay. The delay time also with the curve uh, tool something like this. Let's listen. I like it very much. Let's add a feedback. At the moment we hear just the delay as the mix is at 100%. So let's go back a little bit. So I want to hear the dry signal. And maybe the delay is now still too long. So we go back with the scale, maybe something like 80% and also with the feedback. Want something real? Want something more? Cause I feel like singing. Yeah, I feel like singing. And if you feel it too. So it's a great effect. I would not use it in, in a standard vocal that should sound normal. But if I want to make some special rooms for a ballad or an electro track, this is the tool to create something very stunning. We at Mugent have been working hard to create a new plugin that is more musical than anything else out there. We are thrilled to present the Mugent Player. Each instrument in the Mugen player comes with a composition. MIDI files you just drag and drop into your session, so you can be inspired not only by a sound, but also by an exciting melody or characteristic chord progression. All of our instruments and MIDI files can be downloaded from the cloud. This means that every time you open the plugin, there might just be a new patch or a new MIDI file waiting for you. Simply double click to load it into your plugin. In addition to the individual instruments, the Mugen player also has kits. These are arrangements that sound like a complete song. With a single click, you can load all the patches, and as soon as you've dropped the MIDI files into your DAW, you can start using them to create something new. But the most incredible thing is, 
the basic version of Mugen Player is free. Click on the link in the video description to get the Mugen Player. In it, you will find a large selection of instruments, MIDI files, and kits that you can download for free and start using right away. Get the Mugen Player now and create music inspired by great sounds and compositions. Mugent to make music.